Well, uh, this is the second day of first rifle elk. We've been out here since Wednesday evening. So we had a day of scouting before the season started and had two good days of hunting today. And, uh, well, I took a different trail on the way back today than what we had been taking. The GPS showed it as a, a uh, an old road bed, and uh, we had taken several others uh, with good effect in the last three days, and, and even two days uh, the previous week when I was scouting. No problems. Well, this one was a whole lot different. Um, we're headed along this road, and it's nice, wide, old, leaf-covered, sandy roadbed. And uh, round this, this bend in, in the trail, and we're suddenly in an area that's barely big enough to, uh, to walk on. And uh, the bend was sharp enough that I wasn't having any luck backing Bambi up. But she listened to me. And uh, we literally had to go up the side of the mountain to uh, to get out of that predicament. But she uh, she just did fine. Uh, we both came out of it unscathed, um, with the exception of uh, my beautiful rifle there. <laughs> uh, just to, just as we got to a spot wide enough to where I could uh, remount. Um, Bambi decides she's going to do a little Texas two-step to the right, right under a low-hanging uh, rock, and caught the butt stock. I just had put the thing back in the scabbard. It was my mistake, and but she was she was a great girl. She did good. She listened to me. Yeah, <laughs> she's tired. She's tired, aren't you, baby? <laughs> So I think we're going to go home, cut our hunt short. I got another another tag that I can fill next season. She's pretty tired. She's hunted hard with me. So besides, I miss my sweetie. So Natasha, we're coming home. See you in a little while. Okay. <laughs>